few words here as we begin the school year. Remember, we're here for the faith, and that uh, hopefully we can improve the, the external things. It's, it's, uh, but nonetheless, we're here for the holy faith. And remember, then, this anti-modernist oath, one of the very important elements of this anti-modernist oath is that our holy faith is for all, to be, is able to be understood by men of all times, including these times. So as you learn the faith here in the seminary, make sure you learn it correctly, and that this faith is a faith for all times, including the men of these times in which we are right now. And so that, uh, in any case, the, we, we pray to the Holy Ghost to bless our school year and the seminarians that are about to, about to enter into it. And also remember that one very important element is that uh, the love of God means that we have to have a greater attention to detail. If we love God, then we need to pay greater attention to the things that we're doing and make sure that as we progress through this year that we devote a little bit more attention to detail, a little more attention because what, why do we have ceremonies in the Holy Church? Ceremonies are what we do when we love. If we love God, then we have ceremonies. We have ceremonies in our daily life. We have ceremonies in the church. And that the priest of God is supposed to love these ceremonies. And he's supposed to have these ceremonies in his heart and contemplate them with all his heart. The, the, the vestments that the, the bishop has, one of the vestments, the gloves, and these is to cover the hands because our human hands are so often uh, and not, not used, uh, used for selfishness or used for things they're not supposed to be used for. And as we adorn the hands with gloves to remind us that we are supposed to have absolute purity in all things we do, not only the purity of the flesh, but the purity of intention and the purity of the actions that all things we do are for the good of the church, all things we do are for the salvation of souls. And it's very important the work that we're doing in the seminary that the young men who are now in the very beginning of our of our year and also getting used to the pontifical ceremonies and the new arrangements of things. So a few bumps and bruises along the way are to be expected. But it's necessary that there be a dedication to excellence in everything that we do. It doesn't matter if we make mistakes. If the mistakes are just because we're making mistakes. But if it is mistakes are being made because of a lack of dedication to excellence and lack of dedication to doing the best that we can do, and these mistakes are unacceptable before God. And so remember that uh, we're supposed to be able to pray in this holy ceremony, in the, in the, in the sanctuary of God, and it's uh, very difficult when uh, there's too much uh, distraction. We must remember that we're here for God, we're here to give glory to God, and let's make sure that we genuinely give Him glory by doing the absolute best that we can do. We can't prepare things only two minutes beforehand. We can't just... Uh, with, to uh, you know, walk into the altar of God and expect to be ready to serve Him and worship Him. Six years in the seminary, six years of preparing the soul, so that one day we'll go out to fight the battlefield of working with the sheep. And external things may be a mess. It may be that externally we're doing things in, in an imperfect manner, but we must make sure that our heart is always aiming at God, and that our heart is always aiming at the glory of God, the glory of the church, and the glory of souls. That we're here to capture souls for Christ, and everything we do in the seminary is important. So we, we, we take this sacred oath very seriously, the anti-modernist oath, that the truth of that the truth of sacred scripture and the truth of dogma is not is not to be changed by the modern teaching. We don't accept the modern interpretation of sacred scripture. We don't accept the, the twisting of the scripture by the textual criticism. We don't accept the history of dogma, all this foolishness coming from our modern world that there is only one history, and that history is before and after and during the cross. And there is only one choice to be made, and that choice is about the cross. And either we accept that holy cross or we reject it. And every choice each day is a choice about the cross. And so each day we take up our cross, the cross of our studies, the cross of our spirit of silence, the cross of our prayers, the, 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 the cross of everything that we do must be done for the glory of God. And we've got to help each other on the path to heaven. We must help each other on the path to God. And we must be able to take the burden and take the worry off the shoulders of our brothers. So that you're going to watch over each other's needs, watch over each other's care, make sure that each thing we do now in this seminary in preparation for the priesthood is going to be carried on later on in dealing with souls. 
And so let's make sure we've got to improve a bit, improve our preparation, improve our prayers, improve our thoughts, improve our, and our attention to detail. And uh, we expect a few bumps and bruises in the beginning. That's okay. But we must make sure that we're climbing forward, make sure that we're improving, make sure that we're getting closer and closer to God in our journey. And remember to take also very seriously as we begin this seminary year, try your best to keep the holy hour better than we kept it last year. H1, the holy hour is truly not official part of the rule, but it is the essence of our life. And without it, we will not succeed and we will not stay with Christ. We are now in the persecution of the church. We are in the crisis of the church. And that we may do many imperfect things. We may have many, many imperfections. But the, but the holy hour will be the strength of our seminary and the strength of the Lady of Mount Carmel, the strength of the Society of St. Pius X, Marian Corps. So that there must be the holy hour every day. 60 minutes, excluding the, outside the time of Mass, of continuing presence in the Blessed Sacrament, and this will make up for our many failings. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Charity covereth a multitude of sins. And we must have the charity to cover a multitude of sins. And that, uh, you know, so we did the conditional confirmations and absolute confirmations for some of those that not yet confirmed in the seminary. And then later on, when we begin the new year, we will, the new calendar year, we'll begin to do the confirmations also for the faithful and for the others that need the sacrament of confirmation. But confirmation makes us soldiers of Christ, and we must be true soldiers of Christ. And remember, attention to detail as best we can. Each of us has our limitations. We, each of us don't have all the same talents. But we must do the best that we can. Each one according to their position. Each one according to their capacity. The absolute best that we can do for the glory of God. And make sure in every category, whether it be the singing, or whether it be the sacristy, or whether it be the ceremonies, or, or whether it be the cooking, or whether it be the studies, or whether it be the classes, whether it be having to take care of errands and watch over our brethren, Make sure that all things we do with the greatest of charity and attention to those that come to visit and so on. So remember that the, we begin the school year and we ask the Holy Ghost to bless us so that the faith that is inside of us comes out in our actions, comes out in our ways, and so that we can actually be dedicated to God with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our mind. So in any case, we close it at that. And God bless you all then. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen.